God bless you all. I'm your brother, Damien Ikekwe. I've given to you the little bit, though not much explained, of the first encounter I had with the Lord. Then in the second one, it was a little bit elaborated where I came in with the condition of God. Every promise of God have a human side and have a side, divine side. Fulfill it and it will happen. Where the Hover Lord said, No one unseats this governor unless he unseats himself by consulting a different power and another power. The ways of God is forever settled in heaven. I also told you about the liberation of Biafra, the way it was shown. Though that's a privileged information from the Almighty God, people in a great chain, in tears in agony. And Jehovah said, I've heard the cry of these people. I will deliver them by a mighty hand and a force. There are a group of women that are praying over this nation to be born. Continue. Jehovah is hearing all your pleadings and cries and all the people who are praying equally. But that's not what I'm here for anyway. Oh, I've told you about what God said about Donald Trump, Donald Trump, that he actually placed him there until he finishes what God wants him to do. No one will unseat him. No one will remove him. If he removes today, that means he has finished. But God has a specific agenda of putting him there. All you need to do about Trump is keep praying for him. No matter what he says, no matter the mistake he makes, keep praying for him. Keep praying for him. Keep praying for him. God saw others before he decided to choose him to do what is happening. Let's not join others who are not even born again, who are not even Christians to speak against the one God have chosen to do carry out his will and wish. Okay. Um by the divine grace of God, I want to do some elaborations and talk to you this morning in the scripture, the word of God. I've been receiving calls that people I've been using my name, telling people I am this, I'm Damian Ikeque. And when they call them, they begin to demand money from them. Please, people, you see that people are not afraid of God. Many people are not afraid of God. This pollution from inside the church of Jesus Christ. If the church is purified, fear of God would have come on a lot of people. Please, if you receive such a call, tell them, Damian, I know we're not actually for many. I've not I called anybody and asked for money, and I will not do that. So please know that that is scam, and scammers are all over. But God of heaven and earth will arrest them, and they will preach the truth of the gospel of our Lord Jesus. In the second video I made, a lot of people have been asking, questioning, asking how can we get his contact? Well, by the divine grace of God, I want to give you some of our contacts. My Facebook contact is Damian Ikekwe. Damian Ikekwe. I K E K W. That is Ikekwe. That's the bonnet menu. Okay. And uh, my <coughs> number, my phone number is plus two three four eight zero three five eight zero four eight zero four. Yes. That's my phone contact from any part of the world you can call. We chat personally. Supposing you call, I'm too busy because a lot of calls are coming. Please don't be offended. Either call again. I may possibly call. I may possibly call. You beg. Plus 234-803-5-804-804. That's our contact number. My email is blessedpurity3 at gmail.com with all this you can reach us with all this you can really reach us so that we can have a time together with you tell you more of what god is talking 
uh, these political aspects are there, but I am more concerned about the souls of men. I'm more concerned about your tomorrow. I'm more concerned about your destiny. I'm more concerned about eternal destiny, where you will spend eternity. I want to really assure you how much God have loved you. I want to tell you how much he cares for you. This morning, I want us to discuss on a topic that says, God, heal my backsliding. Lord, heal my backsliding. With what the Lord has shown me, the church and a lot of people in the church are weak, tired. A lot have you called backslided. Gone back to the world. Begin to do it their own way. Let's get to the book of Luke. I want to read the book of Luke chapter 10 from verse number 30. Luke chapter 10 from verse number 30. I will tell you some of the revelations and certain things I got. Luke chapter 10 verse 30 from verse number 30. And Jesus answering said, A certain man went down from Jerusalem to Jericho and fell among thieves, which striped him of his raiment, and wounded him, and departed, leaving him half dead. And by chance there came down a certain priest that way, and when he saw him, he passed by on the other side. And likewise the Levite, when he was at the place, came and looked on him, and passed by the other side. Verse 33. But a certain Samaritan, as he journeyed, came where he was, and when he saw him, he had compassion on him, and went to him and bound up his wound, pouring in oil and wine, and set him on his own beast, and brought him to an inn and took care of him. Verse 35. And when on the morrow, when he departed, he looked, at, he took out two pence and gave them to the host and said unto them, Take care of him, and whatsoever thou spendest more, when I come again, I will repay you. Let's pray. Lord, we give you praise. This is a word. Jehovah Shalom, the mighty man of Allah, God of peace, release your word, release life to your word, release power to your word, that the name of God be glorified. They hear us now, open their eyes and mind and understanding that they will hear this word of God and word of life. And you will restore them and restore them and restore them this morning and henceforth in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for the great answer, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Just like I said before, Lord, heal my backsliding. A lot of children of God have backslided. With what God showed me, every child of God is covered with the glory. Anybody that came to Christ is covered with glory. And that glory is very powerful and thick. It looks like glass. Very transparent glass. And children of God are inside of it, walking and moving. The devil will see the person from afar and say, let me catch this one. When he wants to come nearer to hold, behold, he can't touch the glory. He can't touch the power. He can't do anything against the child of God. But what's happening today? The then I begin to see that there are some children of God that the, the, the glass they are wearing have cracked. Some of the glasses have openings. And with this opening, weapon formed against them begin to prosper. And somebody says, I'm a child of God. Why is this thing happening to me? God, where are you? Why this affliction? Why this sickness? Why this pain? There is a crack. There is an opening. You know, whosoever that break it, the hedge, the serpent will bite. That's just the cause. Why not ask God today for your glory to come back to you? Here we read the Bible said, this man journeyed. The Bible said he came down from Jerusalem to Jericho. If you have been to Bible land, Jerusalem is a place of fellowship. 
Jerusalem is a place of worship. Jerusalem is a place where you hear the voice of God. Jerusalem is where the presence of God is. Jerusalem is where the glory of God is. Jerusalem is where you get the unction and the anointing. Jerusalem is where the power, goodness, and reality of God is. Jerusalem is a place of elevation. Jerusalem is a place of honor. I've been there. Then, if any time you leave Jerusalem going to Jericho, you are going down. But when you leave Jericho to Jerusalem, you are going up. This man was already tall on top. This man was already high. This man was already elevated. This man was already in the house of the Lord. This man was already enjoying the goodness of the Lord. This man was already in fellowship. And the Bible, the word of God said, he decided to journey down, come down to Jericho. Jericho is very close to Dead Sea. And you know that Dead Sea is the lowest place in the world. Now that God has elevated you, now that God has made you high, now that God has lifted you up, why going down again? The Bible said, this man decided to go down. And the moment he started going down, he left the glory of God. He left the presence of God. He left the anointing power of God. He left the goodness of the Lord. The preservation and the protection that have been keeping him all this while, he left it. And the Bible said, he fall among the thieves, which is the devil. The Bible told us in the book of John, chapter 10, verse 10, the devil is a thief. He cometh to steal, kill, and destroy. The Bible said that they got him, stripe him all he had, and got him you know, wounded. And left him half dead. The moment you leave the presence of God. That's why those pains are coming. You leave the presence of God. You leave what God wants you to do. What is backsliding? When you leave actual thing you're supposed to do. Guided by the principles of the word of God. You begin to go down to do your own thing in your own way. Why can't affliction come? When the devil looks and says that the glory is not there. The presence is not there. His majestic preservative grace is not there. He will come and get you afflicted. Can't you say, God, out of my affliction, I cry unto you. This man left the presence of God. This man left the glory of God. This man left the mightiness of God. This man left the uplifting hand of God. This man left everything. And at the end of the day, what has happened to him? What is happening to you right now? It's not difficult to do the will of God once the Holy Spirit is in control of your life. But you begin to stagger and struggle when the Holy Spirit is not there. A lot of children of God, their protections are there, but it has openings. It has cracks. Some have openings from the leg. Some have from the armpit side. Some have from the head side. Opening, you see, the moment you commit sin, unconfessed sin, bam, the more you continue committing sin, you are wounding yourself spiritually. You are wounding your connection with God. You are trying to do a separation. And the thing begins to pierce and then begin to have some crack and begin to have some openings. And before you understand it, the person begins to go low. He can quote yesterday's scripture. He can quote yesterday's testimony. He can say this and that, but God needs you for now. God is God of now. If God did it yesterday, why can't he do it today? This is time God is looking. He said, he's looking for me. God has told me that, son, I am busy in recruiting the last day's the revivalists, the last days evangelists, the last days ministers, the last days teachers, the people he will show the revelation of the word of God so that they will come forth to preach. The last day warriors, prayer warriors, people that can be on their knees without getting tired, people that can be on their knees and communicate with heaven and then get an import from heaven down to here and it. Do you know that every intercessor, every prayer warrior is an importer? He imports spiritual things from heaven to earth here, and it begins to happen. It haunted my head so much when Jesus said, which church are you talking about? When the Lord Jesus said, the church is making use of ten to uh, 5 to 10% of the glory given to them. What has happened to 90%? And these 5 to 10% he showed me is fluctuating. Is moving up, moving up, moving up, coming down, coming down. Moving up, moving up, coming down, coming down. A lot of churches have people and people and people packed into the church. But how many are making heaven? 
Hamena is living a clean, pure, sanctified, and a dedicated life to the glory of God's holy name. This is time to say, God, hear me, my bastarding. I've gone down to Jericho. This man, the Bible says, he was wounded. They first of all got him arrested and strapped him. Have the devil strapped you of your joy, of your peace, of the presence of God, of the glory of God in your life? And has he wounded you? A lot have been wounded. They only remember the bad things that has happened to them. This man of God did, this pastor did, this brother did, this person did. A lot have been wounded in their heads. And then what are they going to do? He's just coming back to God again. The Bible said they left him alone. Presence of God have left a lot of people. They are no more walking in the presence of God. The joy is not there. They don't do this work again with joy. They don't do it with excitement. Do you remember in those days when you were locking yourself, before you understand you have prayed for three, four, five, six hours, I mean the glory of God will be there. You will be speaking in tongues and the glory and presence of God will be there. The devil will always be afraid and say, wow, wow, this one is fire too much. Don't you know that every child of God has gotten some fire? With what God showed me, the fire of every child of God, that's why you answer that glory. The fire is on your forehead. Some of them are like touch light. Some of them like electric bulb. Some of the light are like a very mighty dazzling light. Some of them are like a flood light, very mighty flood light of children of God. Some their light is just like a dot. No, you can't continue like this. God wants his glory to shine on you so that his presence and power will shine on unbelievers, will shine on people that have not received Jesus as Lord and Savior so that they become born again. Do you know that nothing unclean can enter there? You know that it is this glory of God, the presence of God that will rapture you on that day. It is this power of God, the elevation power, his mighty hand. This man have gotten it and he played with it. The Bible said that he went down to Jericho. What are you looking for in Jericho? Come up again. The Bible said, and by chance, a priest came up that way. The priest, what are you doing in Jericho? The priest looked and said, ah, people will say, if I help him now, people will know that I'm also a backslider because the priest was equally a backslider. You see the state of the church. The men have backslided, a lot of pastors have backslided, and talking their own thing, doing their own thing, in their own way. No. Many of you have been expecting some of the great men of God that were shown to me, the way they are introducing certain things and the way they are going outside the system of God. I know some of you will be expecting and say, aha, we're waiting for you to mention their names and this and their churches. No, definitely I will not do that. We keep praying for them. Eli was old, a backslider, but yet his experience helped someone. We need these great men of God. I won't even mention their name. I'll keep praying for them. I can say certain things happening in their churches so that there could be control. But I'm not going to mention their name. I will not want to definitely bring anything on my head. I personally learn how to do it God's own way. Yes, God can call them by their names. God doesn't put title on anybody. But the way God called them, I'm not going to call their names like that. Like that. I'm calling this person that, I'm calling this I know the, what they have done. I'm not talking about the magicians. We know some of them that started as magicians in the house of the Lord. But there are people that have carried their cross. They have seen a lot of suffering, a lot of pains. But when Jehovah Lord started blessing them, a lot of things started happening on the way. Let's keep on praying for our spiritual leaders. Let's keep on praying for our spiritual leaders. They are facing a lot of battles. You know that when a leader just of a church is conquered, definitely the whole church will be shaken. That's exactly the target of the devil. God said a lot of ideas have introduced certain things. A lot of negative things that are contrary. A lot of things that are not worthy again. A lot of things that are outside the standard and will of God. God, hear my backsliding. Do you remember in those days when you will wake up and cry throughout the night and pray? There are, God begin to ask a question and say, there are voices I used to hear. There are melodies that I enjoy early in the morning. Where are these melodies again? Where are these voices again? Don't you know that? When you are praying so much, calling upon the name of the Lord, worshiping and praising him, the devil will be in pain and in shame. He will just introduce one trouble, one pain, and somebody will look after the trouble and no more after the word of God. What am I trying to say? The priest was also a backslider. He passed through the same way. And the Bible, the word of God says, a Levite, assistant pastor, a deacon, deaconess, and other, passed through that way again. That means it's not just only the members. There are people who are passing through that way. What are you looking for in Jericho? Why not come up again? The Bible says he was going down. Jerusalem is on top. Jericho is always down. 
This is time to, for you to say, no, I've gone down enough. No, I've gone down enough. I've gone down enough. Take up another decision. But sliding is going backwards. It is the same strength it will cost you to move backwards. It's the same strength it will cost you to move forward. Why not come forward? A little more step. A little more step. A little more step. Comfort to God. This could be a reconciliation time with you and Jehovah. God don't want you to perish. God don't want you to go back to unrighteousness. Why covering all those sins? Sin is the main thing that makes you heavy in the spirit. As heavy as sin. Sin is too heavy to carry. Offload them. And God will show you mercy. Offload them, and you see the great peace of God working in you. And finally, the Bible says that a Samaritan, an unbeliever, somebody that was not clean, which we refer as an unbeliever, was passing through that way, and the Bible, the word of God said, he saw him. God will make somebody to see you. See your state. See your pains and agony. The Bible says he came nearer. He came down. God will produce a kind of minister that will come down to your own level. Men that will talk to you, men and women that will speak to you. He came the Bible said that he, he poured oil. He brought back the grace. The oil that was lacking, he brought it back again. You have lacked oil of God. You have lacked the presence of God. The Bible said he poured oil and wine. Wine stands for the presence of the Holy Spirit. Oil stands for the power, power of God. Shama Kunda. So what are we trying to say? That was what happened. He brought it forth again. He brought it forth again. He brought it forth again. Okay? So, what we're saying now is that God can introduce the new oil in your life. He can introduce the power and glory and power of the Holy Spirit in you again. This is time of reconciliation. The Bible said the man lifted him up. You have been down. The Bible said the man lifted him up. The Samaritan lifted him up and took him up. God will lift you up again. He will use somebody to lift you up again. Let this word lift you up this early time, early morning. Be lifted up by the great grace. A lot of things is happening in the spiritual realm. In that line, I told you, track that is, you run with the fastness and run and run and run and run. You, the speed you run with is faster than jet speed. That is your life being x rayed God told me, say, this is from your salvation to today you ended here. You will pass through it. Any sin you never confessed will stand as a flag against you. Can you go back to your life? What did I say? What did I do? Can you begin to search? It is only now that you are alive that you can re revisit all these things. The moment you pass here, definitely you will only be seeing them standing against you. My prayers is that nothing will stand against you. My prayer is that that grace God gave me that day to run to an end. Let him give you the same grace to run to the end. And may his grace keep you. May his grace protect you. May his grace preserve you. May his grace lift you up again. God, hear my backsliding. In all the ways I backslided, give me grace. Give me grace. Give me grace. Give me grace. The Bible said that the man took him to an inn. An appropriate place. May God lead you back to an appropriate place again. A place where you will receive strength again. A place where you will be rehabilitated and revisited by the power of supernatural. God is looking for men he's going to use. Let me tell you, you can be busy committing sin. If you commit sin now and confess, God will forgive you. Commit sin now, God will forgive you. Commit sin, confess, he will forgive you. Commit sin, confess. While you are busy committing sin and confessing, God will be busy looking for a man to replace you. I believe you have not been replaced. You are a man after God said. I believe you have not been replaced by power of supernatural. I believe you have not been replaced. I believe the grace is back on you again. God is giving you another opportunity. God is giving you another grace and I can hear him say, Son, it's time to start up again. Daughter, it's time to rise again and do the word of God and do the will of God. Now is the time. Tomorrow might be too late. This is an opportunity for you. God, hear my backsliding. The Bible said the man took him there and stopped his journey. Oh my God. You see the care of God. God is looking for those men, those women that will not say this is my agenda and program. Men and women that will say Holy Spirit is my agenda. Holy Ghost is my program. What he tells me and where he leads me, that is where I'm going to. Is your glory, have you cracked it? There are some people that their glory is so cracked, that they, I mean their covering, 
The protection they have in the spiritual realm is so cracked that all they needed now is that when they repent genuinely, God will just remove it all and clothe them with another glory. Only there are people that have some cracks already. God can real amend them and man amend them. No wonder David has said, create a new spirit within me. Give me peace. Create a new spirit within me. This man left the glorious place. The priest left the glorious place. The lever left the glorious place. And they walked on a dangerous road. You see, this man left and was wounded. The priest quickly was not caught by thieves. The lever was not caught by thieves. They took that risk. Whenever you commit sin, whenever you leave the glory and presence of God and will of God, you are taking a great risk, a very mighty risk. If anything happens to you, that's how you end up in eternity. This is God pleading with you this morning. Can you come back? Let us pray. Dear loving Father, the Father of our Lord Jesus, by the power of your mind to pray, there are people watching this right now, your God of restoration. Restore them now. Father, restore them now. Father, restore them now. Father, restore them. If you know you have gone outside the standard of God, if you know the fire is no more burning, if you know you can't pray as you used to pray, you don't see sinners as people who are perishing anymore, you don't see sinners anything again, you see yourself telling lies and living in one sin or the other. You see yourself going down. The peace is not there. The joy is not there. You see yourself not forgiving again. This is backsliding we're talking about. Let us pray. Can you say, Lord Jesus, Heal me this time. Heal my backsliding, Lord. Restore me again. Give me a peace and joy. Lord, I confess I am wrong. You are right, O oh Lord. Cleanse me, Lord, from the crown of my head to the sole of my feet. Cleanse me, Lord. Give me grace to be your child. Give me grace to come back to you. Oh, God. Let me not go down the road of eternity empty. Lord, let me not leave this earth in emptiness. May I come back in glory in the name of Jesus Christ. As I pray this prayer, I pray that his presence will come upon you. Oh my God. I pray that his presence will come upon you. I pray you will not go to eternity just to be condemned. I pray that God will be a father unto you. I pray his grace to be rely, released on you. I pray for your former love to come back to this God. I pray that your zeal will come back again. I pray that his glory, his unction, I pray that the inner witness that give you joy and peace be restored back again. I pray that your evangelism life, your prayer life, your love life, in any way you have been hurt, in any way you have been wounded, let the Holy Spirit heal you and bring you back again to God. And may God's name be glorified in you, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my King and my God. I love your name. Like I said before earlier, this is God at the end time, moving. Like I told you, if you go to my timeline in Facebook, these messages will always be there. You can read them from there. Help us to share this message around about the world. Let people hear this message. Let them hear that God loved humanity. His grace is around. His love is close to man. What shall we do after this? The mercy of God can come on our way. Like I told you, my Facebook account is Damian Ikekwe. Feel free. Our email is uh, Blessed Purity 3. Blessed Purity 3. Yes, that is what I told you our email account is to the glory of God. Let me repeat it again. Blessed Purity 3 at gmail.com. Blessed Purity 3 at gmail.com. That is our email address by the grace of God. Zero plus two three four eight zero three five eight zero four eight zero four is our contact 
when anybody call you and tell you, I am Damien Ikekwe, I am in need of this money, this one, tell him, Damien, I know, cannot do that. Tell him, repent and be born again. The hell is real and heaven is real. God bless you. Bye.